Welcome back to IDS. Today, we're exploring the lives and inventions of four Ukrainians who changed the course of science, technology, and medicine. From helicopters to vaccines, these innovators made an indelible mark on the world. Let's get started. Kyiv, Ukraine, May 25, 1889. A boy is born into a family of thinkers, dreamers, and achievers. His name? Igor Sikorsky, the man who would redefine aviation and make dreams of flight a reality. From a young age, Igor Sikorsky was fascinated by the skies. Inspired by the works of Leonardo da Vinci, he constructed his first flying model at the age of 12, a small machine with a propeller powered by a rubber band. In 1913, Sikorsky designed the first multi-engine airplane, the Grand, which later evolved into the legendary Ilya Muromets. It was a revolutionary aircraft introducing the world to the possibilities of passenger aviation and heavy bombers. After the upheaval of World War I and the Russian Revolution, Sikorsky sought refuge in the United States where he began a new chapter of innovation. In 1923, with limited resources, he founded the Sikorsky Aero Engineering Corporation. With the support of figures like composer Sergei Rachmaninoff, Sikorsky built his first American aircraft, the S-29A. By the 1930s, Sikorsky had revolutionized aviation once again. His S-42 Flying Clipper opened the doors to transatlantic and transpacific flights, connecting continents and shrinking the world like never before. But Sikorsky's true passion remained with helicopters. In 1939, he piloted the VS-300, the world's first successful single-rotor helicopter. This design, perfected over years, became the global standard for rotorcraft. Sikorsky's helicopters, like the R4 S55 and S61, saved countless lives. His machines became vital for rescue missions, medical evacuations and military operations. It's estimated that helicopters bearing Sikorsky's name have saved over 1.5 million lives. Known as the father of the helicopter, Igor Sikorsky's legacy extends beyond engineering. He was a philosopher, a devout believer in humanity's potential, and a man who envisioned a better future through innovation. January 12, 1907, Zitomir, Ukraine. A boy is born who will change the course of human history. His name? Sergei Korolev, the man who took humanity to the stars. From an early age, Sergei Korolev dreamed of the impossible reaching beyond Earth's boundaries. Despite enduring the horrors of Stalin's gulag, where he survived brutal conditions and near-death experiences, Korolev's resolve to conquer space only grew stronger. As the chief designer, Korolev masterminded some of the most groundbreaking achievements in space exploration. He designed the world's first intercontinental ballistic missile, the R-7, which later became the foundation for the Soyuz rocket still in use today. In 1957, under Korolev's leadership, the Soviet Union launched Sputnik, the first artificial satellite forever changing our understanding of the universe. And on April 12, 1961, his crowning achievement took place. Yuri Gagarin became the first human to orbit Earth, thanks to Korolev's pioneering spacecraft, Vostok. Korolev's genius didn't stop there. He spearheaded missions that reached the Moon, Venus and Mars, including the first soft landing on the lunar surface. His work made interplanetary exploration a reality. For much of his life, Korolev remained a secret. Known only as the chief designer, his identity was hidden even from the Nobel Prize Committee, which sought to honor him for opening the path to space. It wasn't until after his death in 1966 that the world learned the name behind these historic feats. Today, every rocket launch, every satellite and every manned mission owes a debt to Sergei Korolev. His vision turned humanity's dream of space exploration into a reality. March 15, 1860, Odessa, Ukraine. In a modest Jewish household, a boy named Vladimir Kavkin was born. Little did the world know this boy would go on to save millions of lives and revolutionize modern medicine. Raised in Berdyansk, Kavkin excelled academically and later studied under legendary scientists like Ilya Meknikov. There, he developed a passion for microbiology, working tirelessly in laboratories while enduring political persecution for his activism. Despite challenges, Kavkin's brilliance shone through. In 1892, he developed the world's first cholera vaccine, testing it on himself to prove its safety and effectiveness. But his groundbreaking work was initially ignored by Europe. 
Kavkin's efforts found a home in British India, where cholera epidemics raged. Facing resistance from local religious groups, he vaccinated over 42,000 people, drastically reducing mortality rates. But this work came at a personal cost as he contracted and narrowly survived tropical malaria. When a deadly outbreak of bubonic plague struck Bombay in 1896, Kavkin developed an effective vaccine in just three months. Once again, he tested it on himself before beginning a mass immunization programs, saving countless lives. For his extraordinary contributions, Queen Victoria honored Kavkin with one of the highest orders of the British Empire. Even the famed surgeon Joseph Lister praised his work, calling out the injustice of anti-Semitism, which Kavkin endured throughout his life. Kavkin left behind a rich legacy of scientific research and humanitarianism. His work is preserved in the Jewish National and University Library in Jerusalem, a testament to his enduring impact on medicine and society. April 17, 1931. Zhovkva, a small city in Ukraine, became the birthplace of a man whose genius would help shape the digital revolution. His name, Lubomir Romanki, the unsung hero of the tech world, whose inventions made companies like Apple possible. Every time you turn on your computer, you activate several patents by Lubomir Romankiv. As he once said, press the start button, and the hard drive is already using my magnetic head to read and write your data. His contributions form the backbone of modern computing. Romankiv's journey to greatness began in Alberta, where he earned his bachelor's degree, followed by a master's and PhD from MIT, at IBM, he led the Center for Electrochemical Technology and Microstructures specializing in magnetic materials and revolutionary processes for computer hard drives. Romankiv's most groundbreaking invention was the inductive and magnetoresistive microhead, a core component in hard drives. This innovation wasn't just a scientific marvel, it powered the rise of personal computers and made storing vast amounts of data possible. Steve Wozniak, another visionary, purchased these hard drives from IBM for a small startup in a garage. That startup, Apple, and from those beginnings, Romankiv's work laid the foundation for one of the most iconic companies in the world. Throughout his career, Romankiv filed 67 patents and authored 180 scientific discoveries. His research is taught at top universities across the globe, but for Romankiv, success was never about wealth. It was about advancing science and inspiring the next generation. A proud Ukrainian, Romankiv dedicated much of his life to his heritage. He organized student societies, led cultural programs, and played a pivotal role in developing the scouting organization PLAST in Ukraine, fostering leadership in young generations. In 2021, Ukraine honored Romankiv with the order of Prince Yaroslav the Wise for his contributions to global science and his dedication to Ukrainian culture. He stands alongside Igor Sikorsky as one of only two Ukrainians inducted into the US National Inventors Hall of Fame. Lubomir Romankiv's work transformed the digital landscape, shaping the tools we rely on every day. He's a testament to the power of innovation, resilience, and cultural pride. If you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more inspiring stories of innovation. Let's keep his dream alive.